Hello, internet friends. Welcome back to Learn How to Edit Stuff. If this is your first time, well then, well, well then. <laughs> My name is Nadia Ian Sands, and today I am doing something I've never done before. I'm gonna give you a project file. Some of you may remember my iPhone text message effect video. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> Hopefully not, because that video was garbage. But today we are re-energizing, reinvigorating, and renewing that tutorial, and I am going to bring you iPhone text message effect tutorial 2.0. So make sure to download the project file in the video description below. It has everything that you need to create the iPhone text message effect, all the graphics, all the assets, and all the sound effects. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it today. Open up After Effects, because we're getting started. All right, guys, once you have the After Effects project open, it will look a little something like this. I recommend coming up here to Window, Workspace, and selecting All Panels, so then that way you have all of the panels. Over here on the left, under the Project window, you'll see a bunch of different folders, pretty self-explanatory, but I will explain those in more detail once we get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is actually import the clip that you wanna use for your iPhone animation. So I'm gonna hit Command or Control I and import the clip straight into my project. And I got it right here. And then I can just drag this down to this new composition button right down here and just let it go. And it will create a composition with the exact ins and outs that I need to get started. The next thing we're gonna do is actually track the phone. So I'm going to come up here to layer, new, null object. And I'm going to hit enter on this layer and I'm gonna call this tracking. Then I'm going to click on my clip, come up here to the tracker select track motion. And what's great about the iPhone or any phone really is that it has a camera or a flash on the back, which makes it very easy to track in After Effects. So I'm just going to put my box around the white circle here on the back of the iPhone and set my bounding box to something like that. And I'm going to come over here to the tracker and click analyze forward. And you'll see that it's analyzing the flash on the back of my phone quite well. Nice, pretty clean. So I'm gonna come up here to edit target and I'm going to make sure that it's set to my tracking layer. Click okay, hit apply. It will ask you apply dimensions X and Y, hit okay. And now all of that tracking data has gone to our null object and that is exactly what we want. So you're gonna to go to the place in the video where you want the first text message to start. So my thumbs start really moving right about there. So I'm gonna come up here to send animations and I'm just gonna drop send text one right onto my clip here. I'm gonna scale this down. I don't want it to be that big. So I'm gonna put that right here. And then one of the most important things you must do is come over here with this little spiral circle thing. You're gonna drag this and track it straight to the tracking layer, or you can just drop down this drop down menu and go to tracking either one. I just think that this is fun. So my thumbs start moving on the text message right about there. So I'm just gonna drag the front of this composition straight to there, and you'll see that it animates in. So you can see in the video, I actually hit send right there. You need a good actor for this to work really well, by the way. I'm just, <laughs> okay. So I know that by this point, my text has to be done spelling out. So I'm gonna double click into the send text one and you'll see two keyframes down here. If you don't see the keyframes, uh, just go ahead and click on this text layer, hit U and the keyframes should come up. And this is where the text starts animating and where it stops animating. So you want, by the time your character, your actor hits send, you want it to be finished. So I'm actually gonna finish it just slightly before. And I'm gonna come in and change this text. So in the example video, it said, hey, I'm shooting a video. Perfect, then we come back over into our main composition. The text is now changed to what we just changed it to. So we'll come to the point where I hit send right there. And I'm going to hit Alt P on the timeline. I'm gonna hold uh, Command or Control and the right arrow key and go over one, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna set another position keyframe. And I'm just gonna move this up as to imitate sending. So it types out, whoop, sends. Then the next thing I'm gonna do is come down here to the typing animation and I'm gonna drag that onto my timeline. I'm gonna do the exact same thing. I'm going to set the parent to tracking or you can do the pick whip, either one, up to you. And I'm going to scale this guy down to 50% as well. And I'm gonna drag the start of it over right to there. So now it sends, the person's replying. And my reaction was a little bit uh, fast. So we'll pop this little thing in, but this thing goes forever. You guys can use it as long as you want. So send, boom and we'll have the text pop in right before I start shaking my head. So I'm gonna to come to receive animations and drop in receive text one. I'm also gonna scale this down to 50%. 
make sure to track it to your tracking layer. And I'm gonna actually put it where it needs to go first. Very nice. And then I will just drag the front of the composition right here. And then I'm going to actually cut this layer. Uh, it's shift control or shift command D will slice the layer exactly where your playhead is here. And then I'm just gonna hit delete. So now basically it will do the typing and then boom, the text pops in right there and wipes the other one out of the way. So let's watch that. There you go. And now it says replace this text too. So let's double click in on here and let's change this text to your mom is shooting a video. And because this text is looking a little bit too big, it's almost stretching from the sides of the box. Uh, like we did before, making sure that you have all panels selected, come over here to character and just change the text size just a little bit, just so it fits a little bit nicer in that box. Awesome, go back over to your main composition. The text is now changed and now we are looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now, is I'm going to set position keyframes again. So position on both my blue and my white text here. So position, position, go one, two, three, four, five, six. And I'm going to set those keyframes again. I'm going to select both of these keyframes by clicking on one, holding down shift and clicking on the other. And then I'm going to move these up just like that. And at the same time, my first layer, I want to completely disappear from this scene. You guys can just have a lot of them scrolling up, but I'm gonna to choose to have mine fade out. Alt or Option T for opacity and set my keyframes the same. And I'm gonna set my last keyframe to zero. So then that way, when it goes up this time, it actually fades out. And then I'm gonna come over here and drop in Send Text 2, parent it to my tracking layer, scale it down to 50% and it's basically gonna be showing up right about here. And I will drag this over just like this. And again, double click here. Real mature, mom. And I hit send right there. So maybe we'll speed up this text a little bit so it finishes by the time I send. And then same thing here, we're gonna set our position keyframes one, two, three, four, five, six, position keyframes. And we're going to move these up. And I'm also going to fade my receive animation, just like we did the first time. Set that to zero. All right, let's see what we've got. iPhone text message effect tutorial 2.0. The last piece of resistance would be the sound effects. And I have a bunch of iPhone sound effect clips in here that I recorded myself. Uh, so you can just throw any of these down here on the timeline. We'll do the iPhone text message there. Keyboard clicks maybe here. Message send sound. And throw that right in here. Message received is there. So we'll drop in message received. Put that here. Keyboard clicks down here for sending this message. Message send, we'll duplicate that as well. Drag it over here. And there you go, guys. Pretty simple, looks really clean, super modular, and you have the project file, so make sure that you follow along with what we are doing today to make your own cool iPhone text message effect video. Some things to remember. Number one, import the clip that you wanna use and make sure that you track the phone using a null object. Number two, resize all your assets and make sure that you parent them to your tracking data because that's important. And then number three, export. Let's go over some export stuff since a lot of you actually have questions about it. In After Effects, I will come up to File, Export, Add to Render Queue. And then down here is where you're gonna kind of select your options. So if yours will probably say lossless here, right? So if you click on that, it'll open up your export options here. So this is where you're gonna select your format. I would suggest QuickTime. Down here under video output, RGB, if you're gonna be exporting something like this where you can't see the background, RGB plus alpha, if you actually wanted to export just the text message bubbles out of After Effects and then bring them into something like Premiere, you would use RGB plus alpha to just export the alpha channel. But today we're gonna to do just RGB. I'm gonna come up to format options and here is your video codec. Now for those of you on PC, yours will look different than those on Mac. I'm going to select Apple ProRes 422HQ. A lot of you will probably just end up doing H.264, which is the most common codec for QuickTime, but I'm gonna do Apple ProRes 422HQ. I'm gonna hit okay. I'm gonna hit okay here now, and I'm gonna name it whatever I want. So iPhone text clip from After Effects. Click save and hit render. 
Well, I want to thank you for checking out the video and checking out the channel if you're new here. <laughs> I know you learned something today. Hey, follow me on social media, at Naughty and Sands, on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. And if you haven't yet, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and also check out the last video that you missed. If you haven't seen it yet, you should probably watch it. If you have seen it, watch it again. You're clearly just wasting time on YouTube, so give me some more views. <laughs> okay, see you later.